Hey guys, welcome back to a new video. Today I have one of my favorite family car on the market today, BMW Active Tourer. And I have with me the 2020 free version today, 225e. That means this is the plug-in hybrid. You are able to drive up to 92 kilometers only in electric mode, or you can drive with the petrol engine. And this is a fabulous combination to have everything you need in this car you have comfort you have space you have the latest is connectivity multimedia system technology and you have a powerful engine because it has enough enough power to take you through and to make some sporty movement you know to have some fun with the car but i will give you all the technical data in this video we will make the full review interior exterior everything about this car material quality we will talk and yeah i hope you will enjoy it i hope you can get some useful information from it and also the car come with a fabulous color now before we go forward and start the review i want to point out that next days i will make some test drives consumption test drive we will do the normal test drive where i explain you how is the feeling to drive this plug-in hybrid from bmw of course it comes with voice commands and stuff like that and stay tuned because i will show you a lot of stuff also i'm planning to make a night video where i show you the ambient light tonight because i made the test drive i was thinking i want to show you and i must show you the interior light and the driving modes and i want to integrate it in the review because i think bmw really deserve and this bmw active tourer really deserve to to show off this beautiful interior and i want to close let me turn off those lights and let me show you the ambient light this is my favorite color look at it it's beautiful and every time you change the driving mode the ambient inside will change and also the color you go to personal this is my personal yeah because i choose this color if you go to sport mode not only the cockpit is changing but also the ambient the ambient light here and down here everything looks so nice if you change the mode and you go in efficient mode it will go all to blue it looks really good right and then every single driving mode and it's changing and look at the color it's just about ambient you go and relax not only the massage on the seat will start but also those ambient beautiful lights and digital art it looks fabulous look at look at the colors and if if you are in personal mode and if you go to settings right here where are the settings interior light interior light settings you go to ambience you go up here to colors and then from here look at this you can choose whatever color you want in the interior you can personalize that look at this yellow you're a yellow guy you're a limb guy look this is also nice this green limb and then you have this emerald oh boy green green everywhere turquoise this is my favorite huh and also the green it's beautiful you have the pearl right pearl white and then you have the ocean and and stuff like that i mean you have lavender look at this so nice orange boy oh boy and rose rose that's it guys i hope you enjoy it now i want to give you some technical data about the car and then we will start the review first of all as i said before i have with me the 225e this is the plug-in hybrid x drive it's all-wheel drive system i will explain in a second so active tourer the starting price 42,602 euros but to this price this is the starting price for the car without any options to this price you add some extra options for example i love the color i will definitely go with this color uh, they call it green san remo right and it costs 769 euro it's not so expensive and it's really really beautiful now we go to the second page to see all those here are all optionals right and all the price of all optionals are around 19,252 euro and you will see why the final price of the car will be 61,854 euro but the car have everything that bmw have on the latest cars i mean from panoramic glass roof adaptive cruise control autopilot head-up display the new digital cockpit the multimedia system and much more wireless shift transmission heated seat massage on the seats and much more i will show you as we go in the video also it has this adaptive chassis m it has the panoramic glass roof 
1281 euro it will cost you and we have tinted windows in the back 410 what i recommend you here driving assistant professional this is something that i recommend you it's around 2000 euro but it's the autopilot and it's work really good i will show you in the test drive video this is i recommend you another thing that i recommend you is heated steering wheel of course and heated seats and all that stuff it comes also with harman kardon speakers 636 euro here right this is also something that i recommend it comes with an interior camera i will show you later it's up here how it works and also we have iconic sound electric 200 euro i will show you that as well and yeah more and more i will show you as we go another thing that i recommend you to get it is this service included five years or 100,000 kilometer i really recommend you if you don't drive too many kilometers to get this is only 768 euro but this will save you some pain in the head if the car is broken in, in the first five years and if you don't drive too many kilometers it's an incredible service for five years you don't care if something is broke inside the car because they will fix it let's go to more deep technical data about the car and then we will start the review so first of all the car come with a 1.5 liter petrol engine three cylinders in line combined with an electric motor the electric motor drive the rear wheel of the car and the petrol engine drive the front wheel of the car it's an all-wheel drive system it can drive only in electric mode only in petrol mode or in mix mode the power of the car 245 horsepower 477 newton meters is more than enough power for a family car i should say and i tell you you can have some fun with it because it's more than enough power i test it before i drive it before and it's super nice the top speed of the car 195 km per hour 0 to 106.7 seconds also all this power is connected to a 7 speed automatic transmission Steptronic combined fuel consumption VLTP it's around 0 0.7 liters and CO2 emission VLTP 19 grams it's incredible I mean it's really really good those numbers said but of course we will do the test drive and consumption test so we will see what kind of consumption we can get another important factor is the battery the car come with a lithium battery that is located below the floor it's a 16.3 kilowatt hour battery gross capacity but usable battery capacity is 14.2 kilowatt hour consumption only in electric mode it's estimated at around 19.1 kilowatt hour and you can go maximum speed only in electric mode up to 140 km per hour if you have enough battery the fuel tank capacity 47 liters and the car you can also pull a trailer with brakes up to 1400 kilograms and without brakes 750 kilograms the front suspension we have independent tag mcpherson with coil spring and anti-roll bar and rear suspension we have independent multi-link spring with stabilizer ventilated brake this on the front and ventilated brake this on the rear and something that i forget to tell you the rims are 21 inch rims where are those i think here on the first page they are optional included i see them somewhere i don't remember where but it comes with 20 yeah 19 sorry 19 inch rims yeah bmw individual 1814 euro uh, but they look fabulous one of my favorite rims from bmw you will see how the car look with them they look really 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 nice now let's start the review exterior interior and then we will make the conclusion all right first of all as always the key this is the key super nice this is the new key from bmw it looks great if you want to lock the car you press the bmw logo on the side we have lock and open the trunk so from here you just press it and you can open the trunk automatically so it's great that it comes also integrated with this feature and what i notice is that also the quality of the trunk you have to always hold the button until the trunk is closed by the way i notice also that the trunk quality and this system electronic system it works really good then here you can unlock the car of course and you can lock the car of course but also the car come with keyless entrance and that means if you see those uh, three parallel lines if you put your finger here you can lock the car and also by having your hands here coming close to the car car will automatically unlock for you even if you have the key in your pocket you just come here lock the car like that if you want to unlock it 
you just put your hands here and the car will feel you are here and it will unlock uh, the doors. Perfect, now let's talk a little bit about the exterior design. First of all, I have to tell you, this Sanremo green looks just gorgeous on the car and the color it's super super beautiful in the sun i don't know if you can see it right here but in the sun this is a new trend in the sun the color of the car is much more brighter you can see the metallic it's much more open and then when it's darker it's much darker the color and it's it's a really interesting color and it looks gorgeous really look nice on the car you probably see the car already because i review already when uh, it was uh, first on the market but i didn't have with me this uh, plug-in hybrid yet and i have to tell you the combination that they choose on this version it's really nice we have chrome around the windows we have chrome down there on the bumper those 19 inch wheels they look gorgeous on the car i like the way they design it look look at this I mean, it fits so nice with the chrome around the window. Really beautiful car. Guys, these family cars, these days, they transform. And this car is, is I don't know why so many people don't see this car. And I don't see too many active tours on the street these days. I understand a few years ago, the, the design was kind of simple and it's a family car. It's not so attractive. But these days, man, I mean, it looks other story. I mean, if I have kids, I don't have. But if I had kids, this will be on my list for sure. It looks really, really nice. And it has beautiful lines. And at least for me, I have to tell you, I like it very much. I really like the car. And we will talk about every single detail. It comes with full LED lights, tail lights, headlamps. Uh, LED on the mirror, everything. I mean, the latest is technology from BMW, what you have on the bigger brothers, you have it also here. So if you are on the market for a family car, totally deserve to take it into consideration. And you can see in the front, they kind of mix the chrome from the grill and some chrome on the down bumper. And those gray air intakes on the side look so nice. I mean, it looks really nice in this combination and also with some chrome here on the Matrix LED lights, the headlights, automatic high beam, low beam, everything looks really nice from my point of view. Roof, where we have this glass roof that you can open it up. Then in the middle there, we have the radio antenna that it has a very nice design, really unique design, so I should say for BMW. Then we have here the roof spoiler that it's very sporty very nice some glass piano black here on the side the brake light in the middle tinted windows here tinted windows on the side then going down here led lights the tail lights look great also bmw logo on the side turning signals is here led fog lamp reverse light everything it's led we have x drive here and on the other side 225e so you know which version it is and here on the number plate again led lights on the number plate reverse camera right here and we have the BMW logo with a little bit of blue around it that signify the electricity and going down to the bumper six parking sensors actually not only for parking also for the safety feature and other uh, technology like blind spot technology but the way they design and they make from a simple bumper something extraordinary and they hide the exhaust pipes right and they add this kind of a gray matte chrome insertion with this line here look really nice i think they, they really did great hide it and make it look in the same time a little bit sportier i think they choose the perfect the perfect option from my point of view around the windows we have chrome very elegant right it's not the latest trend glossy plastic but chrome it's elegant and if you look at the, one of the most expensive cars in the world they use chrome right so I don't want to go into discussion about this, but yeah, it looks nice. Big mirrors, blind spot technology there. I like the lines, I like the color, I like the shape. It's kind of sporty uh, LED light on the turning signals. And then we have the camera for 360 degrees camera. The car come with 360 degrees camera. And we have an LED here that project down BMW. 
I will show you in the night time. I will make a separate video about that. Also up here we have cameras, sensors, light and raining cameras for reading the traffic speed limit, lane assist, all that safety features work in combination with the radar. The radar from BMW is right here in the middle of the grill in this area. Down here the camera from the front camera, 360 degrees camera I will show you later. I love the grill kidney grill, big grill, beautiful with chrome and you can see it's closed right now like a proper electric car because we have some pedals, it has some pedals there that they close and open, they allow the air to go inside to cool down different parts but it's a smart system, they use these clappers system and down here the same story, you see the clappers are closed and they open when the engine needs to cool down and I like how they add this chrome here, this matte gray on the down part this is chrome but this is a matte gray gorgeous and here also the matte gray air intakes so it helps aerodynamics so the air will flow around uh, the, the wheels six sensors also in the front nice design the bumper has nice line really nice line really sporty it looks good it looks good really and with this color it fit nice the rims, lovely. BMW individual, again here in the middle, some blue uh, ventilated brake discs. Super nice rims in the back, the same story. Ventilated brake discs and again, super, super cool. This is the car. Another thing, another element that I like very much are the handles are integrated in the door. In this way, you have a much cleaner look, a better aerodynamic, and also they feel really good uh, as you touch them. On the both sides, we have Electrify by I. So this is a division in BMW i that they work um, in on this uh, plug-in hybrid and uh, electricity stuff. Here, it's the charging port for the battery. You can charge it at up to 7.4 kilowatt hour, around 2.5 uh, hours, two and a half hours, three hours. You have a battery full at maximum speed. And then you have around 92 kilometers range, super cool. Again, from here, I like very much the front end. Look at the wheels, look at the, the headlamps, really beautiful. Now, guys, I'm done with the exterior. I think I show you everything. I wanna show you the engine bay, and then two times on the BMW, and then we will go in the trunk. So, let's see, I don't remember if that was automatic. Oh, yeah. Sorry, BMW has all automatic. I forget that. And I like the fact that you don't have to find anything here. You just pull it two times, put it up. Phew, premium, high quality. This is it, guys. Look how nice they integrated there. They still leave a lot of space for the front part, yeah? And they still integrate the engine there. I don't know how they did that, you see? how nice they integrated in a small space here. They still managed to make the front part short that they can give you a lot of space inside the car. And in the same time, they managed to, to, to squeeze all this power and all this technology right here. The liquid for the wipers, air filter, and the other things. There's the battery. It's complicated. I'm not a guru of the engine mechanical stuff. But yeah, anyway, the quality, it's good. And also on the door here, it's really, really good. Automatic lift gate here in the trunk. All right, so now here is the trunk and here is the part where we need to talk a little bit. Because, look at it, it's bigger, bigger, more than enough, I should say, space for a family with one, two kids. You can go in, in holiday without any problems here. But the fact that this is a plug-in hybrid have also some downsides. For example, if you go under the floor, you will see that you have a relatively limited place here. So you have the cables and another stuff like repair kit and uh, a vest and stuff like that, you know, that you have to put it here. But in general, you don't have too much space under the floor in general in all plug-in hybrids. So that's something to keep in mind because they have to put the tank 
yeah, the, the petrol tank, they have to put the battery, they have to put the electric motor, they have to put all that technology somewhere under there. So that's why this is the space. But in general, here in this area, it's more than enough space. You can see here I have a two liter bottle of water with some liquid. Also here some storage space. You have a 12 volt port, LED light, good quality on the side, on the both sides, some hooks, hooks in every corner. In general, it's, it's more than fine and you have also a flat floor at the entrance with some plastic and also the entrance it's relatively big of course we have this protection for the trunk i will take it out and i will show you in a second how it looks without it so yeah let me take this protection out and then we will fold down the seats as well now i just take out that protection you can check out one more time the way it looks the trunk now the good part is that you can fold down the middle part and then you have the both passengers there in the back or yeah you can fold it the way you want it but the great part is that you have this option but in order to fold it down you can do it from inside here i wish although to have some handles to fold those seats will be much more usable practical in order to fold it down you have those levers here that you have to pull it and then you have to use your both hands so now i just leave it down so i need my both hands in order to do that so i can do it with camera but the great part is that you can carry long items check this out and in the same time uh, have two passengers in the back now if you want to fold down the other seats the same story also of course adjustable headrests here very simple but again you have to pull this and then pull it with the other hand no this time it comes automatic oh that's good only for the middle part you have to do it but here i don't need my both hands yeah this is great i mean when they stick together uh, you can do it with only one hand so all you have to do is go here pull this just like that uh, by the way i'll show you later but you can also adjust it in in the position that you want and the good part is that it still left a few space here on the legs room where you can add some different uh, items and storage and also the transmission tunnel is relatively small so in general this is the way it looks from the side, you have almost 90 degrees opening on the doors, big entrance here, more than enough space. And also you can see in the back there, the space is relatively good. Also you can see the beautiful glass roof. It looks so nice, really good quality. Also here, here, really, really nice quality. And if we go in the back, of course, the same story. You have flat floor, it looks gorgeous. I mean, it's really, really spacious from this point of view. You can carry also big items without any problem like fridges and yeah, mobile parts, whatever. It's, it's practical, it's really, really practical. Now, I wanna put it back and we will go inside the car. Now, I wanna show you something. I did it on purpose. Look how much you can adjust the seats, guys. This is incredible. I mean, if you need more space in the trunk here, right? If you wanna have a, a much more space here, you can put the seats right that straight there and look how much space you have it's incredible it's it's really really useful and spacious and if you need more space for the passengers you put it all the way on the back like that and look how much space look look how big is the difference it's one of the biggest difference in terms of seats adjustment uh, from this point of view and also you have many many more adjustment you can put it even more on the back let me show you just like that or you can put it all over on the back and look at this this is all over on the back super comfortable here i will show you later and look the difference it's almost 20 to 25 centimeters even if more not sure i didn't measure it but look at this it's really practical this is practical those are also the buttons to close the trunk and there is the triangle good now before we go inside talk a little bit about the doors one big window here one window on the body of the car i will show you later how it looks the design is very nice i like the white insertion I'm, I'm a big fan of these white insertions on the big side again stuff soft material here kind of a silicone rubber the handle look nice unique and, and fancy and also it feels good quality harman kardon speakers really really nice in this uh, chrome design then we have leather leather stitches here is the speaker and also we have some textile material over it and the button for the windows and then we have huge storage space again practicality in the car it's really good and i'm not sure if i yes i want to show you how much you can fold down the seats uh, the window sorry so this is the maximum uh, position of the window just in case you're wondering 
entrance of course big entrance no problem and now you can see the beautiful interior but first of all i have to fold down the other seat on the other side check out this interior guys really the interior it's blowing my mind it's really really beautiful in combination with the glass roof that it's all over the roof there you can also open it it's vernasca white interior leather it looks so nice really nice and not only that look nice but the, the quality it's great it comes also on the side here so you have good support good quality even down here is a fix for child you can install two child seats here in the middle we have an armrest with two cup holders again very good quality leather behind the front seats we have some plastic some storage space and in the middle here we have also this is plastic but it's white i told you all the time cars manufacturers sometimes bmw and also mercedes they use other colors for this plastic i don't want to see anymore the black make it white make it blue like i see in mercedes look how nice it looks it makes a lot of difference inside the cabin i don't know i, I really love this uh, plastic to be in other colors Anyway, let me close the door to show you something. Good quality, stay here, really comfortable, visibility quite good. You have this window here, good visibility outside, good quality also on the armrest, on the back, super nice. In terms of space, let me show you. I have here like five to six finger over my head. I'm 173 centimeters. On my legs, I have like more than enough space, but let me go behind myself because there is not realistic. Now here I drive a little bit earlier and you can see a little bit better the space. This is the space on my knees. Yeah, and I can stretch my legs under the front seats and then it's great. But because the battery is somewhere under the floor, you will stay with your knees a little bit higher. So you will have like three fingers here, so your knees will be higher. But this is normal. And if you stretch your legs under the front seat, it will be just perfect, you know? I mean, no big deal. And here we have a handle, a hook, and an LED light. And the quality on the roof, it's also very, very good. And you have also this beautiful, beautiful glass roof over your head that looks awesome. In the middle, two vents, very nice, integrated. One of the most beautiful vents on the back, from my point of view. Two USB-C, very useful, and a lot of space down there to put different items. If you want to go in the middle, for example, yeah, I go in the middle, you have to stay with your legs like that. And then you have still some story space here and over my head i have less space i have three fingers stretch my hand almost completely and also here almost completely but for short trips medium trips will be just fine here at least for me it's great down here soft and nice on the back a, a little bit stiffer but overall good comfort we go in the front i love how the seats look even in the back here this white we'll go in the front we will talk about the things there multimedia cockpit everything uh what do you think what do you think about the dashboard design i think it's very simplistic and very modern and futuristic and it looks really really nice anyway let's go in the front here we have two windows one is fixed here one is big right here then the visibility in the mirror is very good because it's positioned directly on the door on the body of the door so it's really good now in terms of design it's quite similar with the one in the back this time we have leather up here and no more that uh, rubber material with white stitches here leather white leather here leather super high quality material the same handle lock and unlock button harmon cardon speakers save the electric seats position and here we have some ambient light inserted i will show you in the night time in a separate video and here we have this eucalypt wood insertion trim that looks so nice it looks really nice a nice touch here is the speaker uh, somehow behind this textile material and we have plenty of uh, storage space in the door bands and the button to open the trunk down here bmw logo on a nice aluminum plate the pedals normal pedals and here we have electric adjustable seats for the driver the passenger doesn't have it it's manual so that's something to keep in mind big entrance overall but look look at the interior man look at the glass roof in combination with those seats oh boy it looks nice 
The seats on the BMW need no presentation in terms of design, in terms of comfort. They are, they are blessed to sit on them. And today, after I drive my Model, Model Y, Model Y Tesla, and sitting on those seats was like, oh my God, it's like I'm in a Bentley. No way. They are great. And you have shoulder support up here, side support, side support. You can adjust this down part in every position you want. Really good quality. Gorgeous. Nothing to say. I like the fact that down here again, plastic in white, plastic in white. Great job, BMW. I love that. I love to see that more and more on the cars. Here, simplicity come through because from here we have the position of the lights, fog lamps, and also here is the settings of the light. You can go uh, through settings from this shortcut button. Then the same eucalypt wood here, insertion, some chrome design, the vents feel great. And then leather on the dashboard with the stitches, great. I forget to tell you that the steering wheel, it's optional. And it is this M Sport uh, steering wheel with leather and it's 267 euro if I remember well. But it's, man, I love the steering wheel from BMW because it's a little bit more fat, you know, than the normal. It's so unique. I think this it gives that unicity to BMW. I love this grip. It feels so special when you, when you hold it, you know, and the quality is great. The grip is great. Now you have the M here. This design here it's also very nice and interesting the bmw logo with blue of course we have here look how simple it is physical button they keep it simple like audi for example or porsche we have the buttons just a few buttons to set up the autopilot i will show you in the test drive it's so simple and here on the right side the same to customize the cockpit this new digital cockpit that i will show you in a second simplicity then we have some pedals here they are the plastic pedals but you change the gears manually you can have some fun with the car what i don't like so much on the car one of the things that i wish to be different is the head-up display what this uh, what this is doing here in the car why why like that because bmw have such a beautiful head-up display yeah let me start the car here is the start engine you hear this sound this is gorgeous. The sound uh, of the BMW is really, really gorgeous. But the head-up display, I'm not saying it's bad. I mean, it's, it's okay. You can see a lot of information there, like map, and you can customize it. And the color, the resolution are great. But it's a little bit disturbing on long terms. So I will definitely exclude this from taking uh, as an option if I will buy the car. Everything else is perfect. But this one, it's something that I wish to be directly on the windshield, right? Probably will be the last one on BMW cars. This is what I think. Then going to the steering wheel, you can adjust the steering wheel down, up, forward, backward. Very simple manual from here. Great visibility around the windows. They, they extend the window somehow that you have a very good visibility uh, outside and also the windshield, it's good. Uh, everything in the back. So from my point of view, great, great visibility. Here in the middle, I love this insole. Uh, island design here with some leather in white here, armrest, gorgeous. With this, they take it out, this area here, it looks so beautiful. You have so much story space down there. Look at there, I mean, you have huge storage space there it's so useful and then it comes with these two usb ports usb-c lovely lovely space i love that bmw great job some chrome design here the way it looks also this shift by wire transmission from here you change the different gears just simple like that start stop engine button the parking button it's here then we have auto hold function shortcut to the settings of the car my modes from here you change different driving modes i will show you in a second and from here you show that 360 degrees camera the volume knob and then the, the the hazard light lovely the way they integrate it it's it's one of the most beautiful design that i see in terms of of buttons it's really nice now press this one just like that open it up some storage space here it's not big but it's it's something and really really nice integrated down here two cup holders a lot of space also for your phone here you put your phone like that and wireless charging it super nice really really nice the design it's beautiful down here white again on the plastic big glow box 
the blow box from my point of view it's really really spacious and also it has a nice unique design here in this area the same eucalypse wood here beautiful insertion also the vents feel super nice quality as you touch them leather everywhere there we have some vents in the front there as well the, again integrated in this wood part it's also this uh, vent in the middle we have shortcut buttons for those of you that complain about not having button for climatic system if you need the maximum power you just press it and then you defrost the windows just like that it's simple like that so yeah in general very nice design i really like it now let's talk a little bit about the cockpit and this is the digital cockpit probably you see it a few many times on my channel it's a lovely cockpit finally bmw have something incredible and i'm happy that they bring this on the active tourer and so for example you can change and customize different views so you have like like free designs this is kind of used for sport you have this layout like that or like that i like this one and then in the content in the middle you have a few options for example you have the speed you have the, the consumption you have also this assistant view like uh, adaptive cruise control the autopilot view and then you have these directions and then you have the navigation in the middle right in the middle you can see a lot of information about navigation let me set a destination to show you actually so for example if you put here start route guidance and then you will see once it's calculating you will see right here on the screen so gorgeous finally we have the map on the screen and bmw show also the map from android and apple carplay that's great on the map in the front i show you that in another video probably uh, if you didn't check out you can check out that video with uh, how to connect Apple CarPlay and then of course we have the head-up display where of course you can see on the head-up display the map right there you can see the map but you can also customize it to see other views you know like um, the autopilot and stuff like that so in general they are nice but yeah I tell you um, this is something that I was surprised to see you know let me go forward good but in general i was surprised to see that they use this uh, head-up display you know it's not on the windshield and it's on this uh, plastic that comes inside there it's good that it comes inside but yeah i don't know i think you have more than enough information here and here uh, and you don't really necessarily need the head-up display but look look at the navigation it's so cool now bmw uh, bring this uh, navigation also like uh, like Mercedes comes first with this camera so it shows you le left and right where you should go so this is also great in the middle here we have the multimedia system it's a big screen and I like the fact that they tilted to the driver so you have a phenomenal view uh, from the driver point of view look at this it's just perfect this view it's, it's not good it's perfect and guys look at this for example uh, let me go back to home it's super complicated this is the home screen i have a separate video with it so if you want to see it you can go there and see every single detail so here you can customize what you like to see on the first page and all those things are on the first page so here you can add some widgets whatever you want to add you can add here you can see the weather the values of the car telephone radio and navigation navigation it's incredible good BMW on this car doesn't come with those controllers here that you can control while you're driving and here for example you can see that it's crazy responsive one of the most responsive on the market uh, navigation system so it's it's really really fast it's really good you can set up the the distance the uh, you can see also the charging the, the tank stations the charging station and you can actually set it up super simple and I like it very much you can use also the voice command and all that stuff and it's, it's incredible incredible useful this map then we have here on the left side some shortcuts so you have shortcuts to navigation you short, shortcut to the phone to the multimedia and here you have the shortcut to the all settings of the car all application that the car come with and those are all the apps you probably see it before here are the vehicle information status you have the parking here like 360 degrees camera so you can see that the car come with 360 degrees camera and oh sorry i go into the menu 
let me go back I press this button here yeah now it's activated and you can see 360 degrees what happened around the car in the front in the back you have assistant view here wow I press it again it's third time when I did that where is that parking okay uh, you have the, the assistant view here you have the panoramic view in the back if you go to more you have 360 degrees view so you can see the car in a 360 degrees way so you can see whatever happened around the car it's so so useful and cool and it's integrated in the, the price of the car so um, this is something that I, I really really like I and mean, I think it's one of the best on the market now if you go to the menu again uh, you can go to exterior light and you have all the custom buttons here to set up driving settings you have the driver assistant settings right here the safety warning front collision all that settings driver settings of course feedback to the steering wheel everything you find here driver and chassis here you can choose the electric drive the maintain battery charge if you want to uh, activate and keep the battery for later and stuff and iconic you see that iconic sound also this is optional you can activate or deactivate parking brake driver support and the charging uh, settings are here you can uh, you can set up and schedule the charging you can choose the, the limit on how to charge in AC and charging mode here immediately and time slot so you can choose how you like to charge it super nice the display here you have all the settings of the display of the head-up display then you have Wi-Fi you have a snapshot you have driver record so for example you can record what happened around the car something like Tesla have you just press it here and it will record and you can go to recordings and you can see here if you go to recordings you can see what was happening around the car in the past so it, it's kind of a great great uh, safety features i should say and it's really welcome also the bmw come with digital key you can connect your phone so you can unlock the car only with your phone you don't need to use the key the same as many other car the country information it's a very smart mode to show you all the information from all the country where you go uh, and the rules interior lights the ambient light and all that light from the interior you can change the color you can choose the uh, the accent line you can reduce for night drive light events stuff like that and also you can choose the colors from here and you can choose whatever color you want from the ambient for example if you choose blue it will be blue but this I will show you in a separate video and system information settings you have date and time language voice command sound settings units and all other uh, settings like general settings live vehicle and then we have the seats comfort the car come with massage on your seat so you can activate and deactivate from here uh, the front seats have massage on them this is awesome and you can change the, the level you can change all that stuff and then the what was the oh, spotify of course the car comes with spotify it comes with news weather you can see the weather radio and android auto apple carplay wireless you can connect it and it's super simple and you can go to mobile devices here to see which were connected if you go to my modes uh, you can see this time bmw come with a few driving modes and every time you change this driving mode you can change also the settings of the driving for example if you go to sport mode the car will go in sport mode the cockpit will change in sport mode you can see right now it's with the red so it's much more uh, different and you can of course go to echo yeah efficient and goes back to echo just like that and you have another modes for example expressive mode if you go in expressive mode it's change the design it becomes a little bit more pleasant here and also it start the massage on your seat it's starting and you hear also a sound from the speakers if you go to relax the same story the massage on your seats will will start to work and you hear a sound of relaxation you know like it's really interesting and if you go to digital art the same story it's changed uh, the ambient in even the ambient light inside the cabin in the night time it will look much better and I will show you in the night time we will make a separate video in the night time so stay close to see it now the thing is that once you set a relaxation the massage on the seat will work forever so you have to go in the massage driver seats massage and you have to turn it off just like that 
but it's really pleasant. I mean, I need a massage. I wish I have this on my car. And in general, I think this is all. Of course, you can personalize the, the driving mode as well. But in general, that's all. The mirror up here, it's great. You have a great visibility in the back there. You can see from here, really good visibility. Up here, you have the camera that you can see inside the car. You have here a shortcut and it shows you what happened in the car. And from here, you open the, the glass roof. You have some LED lights here. And here you have a mirror, a small mirror with LED, a microphone and a handle and also I want to show you how simple it is to open it you can open this first part until here it's really good quality I should say and uh, it's really fun to have some light inside and also you can close the curtain to make dark completely dark inside the car so all you have to do is just do it like that and it will close completely I'm not going to do that but yeah keep in mind that you are able to do that so guys that was the review i hope you enjoy it with this uh, bmw active tour plug-in hybrid 2023 model i hope you enjoy it i hope it was useful it's a great family car totally take into consideration when you will buy your next car go and test drive it go and see it and see if you like it see if it's something that really fit for you because I tell you, it's very nice to drive. It has a really, really nice feeling added to it. It's a unique BMW feeling. And my rating for it from 1 to 10, if we think uh, on this class, if we think uh, about what it offers, I will give it a 10. But if I think about the price, I will give it a 9.8. But in general, phenomenal car. And don't miss out the test drive to see more information about it. Now guys, I hope the video was useful. If you find it useful, don't forget to like, share, subscribe. Thank you very much to all of you that are watching my videos. Stay safe and I see you soon in the next one. Bye guys.